Yeah. So first thing we're gonna start with a nice little warm up. We're gonna go in place. We're gonna go high. Yeah, come in the shade. To butt kickers. All right. So we're gonna do forty of each. Forty total of each. So it's twenty per leg. We're gonna do that three times through. So we'll do twenty a leg on the high knees, then twenty a leg on the butt kickers. Three rounds. All right. Knees and butt kicks. Three rounds, 20. I need some butt kicks, three rounds, 20 reps in the bag, 40 total. Good job, guys. After that one, we're going to go five lateral lunges per side. With that lateral lunge, try to hold it for a second or two to really feel that groin kind of open up a little bit. There you go, Evie. Good, Marissa. Good. And here you go, Kev. Missy, there you go. Liz, nice of you to join us being so quiet over there. Good. After those lateral lunges, I'll try to show you guys best I can. You're gonna take that right arm, you put it just across the chest, put the fingers down to the ground, look over, try to really stretch that shoulder. Hold that, get a good stretch, then switch sides. Same thing, look across that shoulder. Really try to pull that shoulder across the body as you look in that direction of that shoulder. We're gonna do that three times per arm. So remember, take that arm, put it across, over and across, then switch, look over and across. Good. After we've done that, we're going to go push up position now. So from here, you're going to walk those hands all the way in and then walk all the way out. Inchworm walk out. We're going to do five of those five inchworm walk outs. Try to see if we can really keep those knees nice and straight as we walk all the way in, all the way out with those hands. All righty, how are we all feeling? We're all feeling good? So for the first thing we got, we got an EMOM. We're going five exercises. We're trying to get through as many rounds as we can. It's going to be for 30 minutes. It's not really going to be that long because there's so many exercises. So remember, every minute on the minute. So every minute, you're going to try to get in the reps for the set exercise. I'm going to write it down real quick on a whiteboard and then kind of hold it up in the camera for the whole time so you guys can see the reps. Give me one quick second to write it down. The first one's going to be 40 air squats in a minute, and the remaining time is your rest. The second one will be 12 burpees in the minute, and the remaining time from that is your rest. The third one will be 16 total alternating dumbbell snatches. I'll show that in a second. Fourth one will be 20 dumbbell RDLs. And then the fifth one is 30 total, 15 aside skater jumps. That's the lateral bound. I'll show that in a second, too. Give me one second, guys. All right, so the first one, obviously, 40 air squats. Remember, just right here, all the way down, all the way up. Then the second one, 12 chest to ground burpees. So remember, we're going. All the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Then you got 16 dumbbell alternating snatches. So you'll take that dumbbell, have it in one hand, all the way down, 
snatch it all the way up, then switch hands, all the way down, all the way up. Eight of those per arm, then 20 dumbbell RDLs. Just like that, sit the hips back, try to feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings, drive the hips forward on the way back. Don't just bring your back up. And then the last one, 15 per side. Skater jumps, all right? I'll set a clock for all of us so we can hear the time. We have one minute to complete each of the exercises, and then you have the remaining time in that minute to rest, all right? I'll hold this kind of up on the screen in a second. Anybody have any questions? Yes, those reps are very different than what was in the email. <laughs> no, we kind of changed it. We modified it a little bit. All right. Uh, is there another option from snatches? What's another what's yeah, an alternative to snatch? Yes. Uh, what is it? Your shoulders bothering you? Elbow. Elbow. Um, yeah, uh, we can do. Zach, you got any input on this one? Uh, yeah, you could do some type of, do something for your, um, do something for your triceps. Is that Allegra? Yep. I can do push-ups. Uh, push do push-ups. Do push yeah. How many? 15. Okay. Yeah, that should do, that's doable. All right, so can we all see this? Thumbs up if we, if we're muted or whatnot, if we can all see it. Perfect. All right, ready. So it's going to start in. We got 10 seconds till we go. So 40 air squats. Remember, 40 air squats is the first one we got. Three, two, one, and go. 40 air squats in a minute. Good job. Remember, the remaining time is your rest. So we got 40 air squats. Good job, guys. You guys should be going as deep as you can on those air squats. We are right. approaching the halfway point. there. Halfway there through our first minute of those 40 air squats. Whatever that remaining time is, your time to rest and catch your breath. There you go, Elaine. Good, Michelle. There you go, Allegra. Good, Ann. Liz, that's like a quarter squat. Come on. Come on, Liz. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, guys. Remember, in the, at the top of the next minute, we got 12 chest to ground burpees. Three, two, one, and 12 chest to ground burpees. Remember, this should be a little bit quicker than 60 seconds in the beginning rounds of this. Here you go, Marissa. Good, Megan. There you go, Beth. Here you go, Allegra, Michelle. Here you go, Kev. Remember, we got 12, 12, 12 of these. Terrible. Halfway there. We're now halfway through. Remember, remaining time is our rest. Catch that breath. Good. We got about 10 seconds left till we're going. The next one, 16 total alternating dumbbell snatches. All right, so eight per arm, alternating arm and arm. You got about 10 seconds till we're going. Two, one, and we're going. Allegra, add alternating shoulder taps in between each push-up. Remember, 16 total here on these dumbbell snatches. All the way up. All the way up, yep, all the way up overhead. Oh, those are looking pretty good, Marissa. Jen Rogers, those are looking good. Use those legs to power you up. You shouldn't be using that back. Pop those legs. If you jump a little bit, that's okay. Halfway there. Halfway. You guys should be jumping a little bit. A little bit popping the legs. Don't be okay. mind just on the Here you go, Catherine. We got about 15 seconds. 15 seconds left, then we got the 20 dumbbell RDLs. See if you got another dumbbell or a heavy object that we can hold to do those RDLs. Remember, sit those hips back. 20 dumbbell RDLs total. And good, here we go. Hey Troy, is that 16 total or 16 per side? 16 total, Missy, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why it took me so 20 dumbbell RDLs, guys. 
You guys should be pulling that dumbbell from the floor, too, on the snatch. It's not a hang snatch. It's all the way from the ground. Michelle, don't you have a heavier kettlebell? Just saying. If you guys have a heavy, heavy object, use the heavy object. If not, remember, 20 total reps. We are halfway. Halfway there. Halfway. Remember, 20 total. Change this one. Ten seconds. Remember, after this, you're going 15 per side skater jumps. 15 each on the skater jumps. 15 each. Try to get a nice big jump. Quick 30 up. right, to Troy, right? 30 total? Yeah. 15 per side. Guys, be explosive. We're not dancing. We're not on the dance floor. Be explosive off of each leg. Once you finish 15 per side, you got rest. That's the end of round one. You finish the first time of the exercises. Halfway there. So now we're back to the 40 air squats. Back to the top, 40 air squats again. All right? Remember, let's try to bang out these air squats. Four zero of the air squats, guys. We're doing good so far. 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds till we go. And go. 40 air squats. Guys. Drive those knees forward, drop those butts to the ground. How low can you go and how quickly can you get up? Yeah, Shanley, that's what I want. Get down. Get Ash the grass. There you go, Ann. These are looking good, guys. Looking good. Marissa, get deeper. Allegra. Oh, apparently, Marissa's not doing good enough. Marissa, keep it up. Thought you were doing good. Catherine, there you go. We're about halfway to halfway, there. people, halfway. Remember, next we got the 12 beautiful burpees. Chest to ground, everybody's favorite. So once we finish the 40, grab some water, catch your breath, do what you got to do. You got 12 total Ten chest to ground burpees. 10 seconds, guys. And... Burpees, 12 chest to ground burpees. 12 beautiful, beautiful burpees. Oh, there you go, Marissa. Oh, we got a child sighting in Marissa. There you go, Jen. Good Allegra. Kev looking good. Awesome. And Get them done as quick as you can so you got more rest. Rushing them and Treesman. Liz Benedict, I can time you with a sundial. Jesus. I can't even get up. I know. It's, it's embarrassing. This is killing me. You spend all that time with Zach and you just get hosed by our boot campers. She hasn't seen me in like seven weeks. Nah, I don't make excuses for her, Zach. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Then we got the eight per side dumbbell snatches. Remember, we're alternating per side on those dumbbell snatches. It's Jack's class yesterday. That's what's killing it's, me. Use your legs. Use your legs use here. Not legs. just your upper body. It's your legs. Those legs. Upwards. Should be like a tiny little jump. Like Liz's jumps from Monday. I should be able to just barely slide some paper underneath them. What? I finished. Right. How was it? Catherine, that looks pretty good. Jen, that looks good. Elaine, pretty good. Beth Rosen, awesome. Megan Shanley, I see you doing well over there. Halfway there. Guys, we're halfway. Remember, it's 16 total. Just 16. All right, eight per arm. Then we got the 20 RDLs. Whatever you got for the heaviest object. We got about 10 seconds left, guys, in this minute. 10 seconds. So catch your breath. Use this time. Use the time with the shorter rest things or the shorter rep things to catch your breath. Use that time as rest. 20 dumbbell RDLs or kettlebell, whatever you have that's the heaviest object around. Try to really feel those hamstrings sit back on those heels as you let that butt out. 
and then drive the hips back forward. Oh, perfect, ladies, perfect. There you go, Allegra, good and. Oh, Missy, there you go. Kev, that's actually really good. Michelle, awesome. Uh, Marissa, there you go. Marissa, try to reach Halfway a little there. bit more with the butt backwards. Try not to just bend with that chest down. Try to reach your butt to the wall behind you. Good, Jen Rogers. Allegra, looking good. So after this, remember, we got 15 per side skater jumps. Really try to jump. See if we could cover the most amount of distance. If we're in a confined space, see if we could hit the walls on each side of us. No half-ass dance moves. I want to see an explosive plyo here, guys. This is a plyo. I know you guys are tearing it up on the dance floor. Let's bring it back in the day. When, you know, when you're doing full effort dancing instead. Of we're not doing the electric slide, okay? 15 per side skater jumps. My grammar is subpar today. In case we can't see, skater jumps. I did not pass the manuscript class. It is terrible writing, I know, I'm sorry. No Halfway there. Remember 15 per leg, 30 total, and then we're back to the top for the 40 squats. 40 gorgeous air squats. Come on guys. About 15 seconds till we're going again to start round number three. Starting round number ten three seconds. in 10 seconds. You guys are doing awesome so far. 40 air squats starting in two, one, and go. Four zero air squats. Four zero. Come on, people. Oh, yeah. There you go. Good, Allegra. Good, Michelle. Good, and Evie, looking awesome. Liz, that's like a like an eighth of a squat. It's not even a quarter squat, for Christ's sake. Oh, God. Halfway the there. Couch? Use the couch as depth. Go sit to the couch and come back up every time. Bro, it's a non-secular podcast. In case you're wondering how deep you are, if you guys got like an average heighted chair, table, you can sit to that. Couch. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'll go sideways next time. Okay. Buying yourself an extra round and cheaper reps. But... 12 burpees, 12 burpees, 12. Um... Yeah, 12 burpees. Evie, you're, you're, you're on the next exercise. You're getting ahead of yourself. I like the uh, enthusiasm, though. 12 burpees, guys. You Oh, Michelle, looking good. Kev, superstar Kev. Allegra, pretty solid there, Allegra. There you go, Marissa. Jen, awesome work. Halfway there. Let's go, Missy. And awesome job, Ann. Good job, guys. So remember, once we finish our 12 burpees, we got the dumbbell snatches. 10 seconds. 16 total alternating dumbbell snatches. Use those legs to pop up. It should be a slight little jump. Alternating dumbbell snatches. Here we go, guys. You guys are awesome. Let's go, Missy. You can do it. Elaine, come on. Oh, there you go, Elaine. Yeah, Elaine. Good, Michelle. There you go. Good job, guys. Sit those butts down. Don't bend with that back. Sit that butt down. Drop that butt just like you're doing in the air. Oh, perfect. Now you guys are getting the hang of this. Loving it, guys. Absolutely loving it. Halfway there. Halfway. Let's go, guys. Come on, Missy. Good job, Beth. Good job, Elaine. Allegra, you're doing shoulder taps in between each push-up, right? All right, good. Good job, Ann. Ten seconds. Shanley, where's Shanley go? Uh, she has to step out. She says she's going to step out. All right, now we have the 20 dumbbell RDLs. 20 RDLs. 20, 20, 20 RDLs. Let's back go. flat, reaching back with your hips. Get a nice stretch in your hamstring, and then squeeze your butt underneath you. 
Good. Drive those hips back forward. Try not to use that back, but push those feet in the ground. Drive those hips forward. Good job, guys. All oh, these are looking pretty good. Oh, these are looking really good. Good job, guys. Kev, good work. Here you go, Michelle. Good, Beth. Halfway there. Halfway through those 20. And we got 15 skater jumps coming up. 15 per side, 30 total. 15 per side, 30 total. 15 skater jumps per side after this, 30 total. We got 10 seconds. 10 seconds till we're going. 15 seconds. As big of a jump as we can, stick that landing. Two, one, and go. To the electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie. Can I see a real pile, please? Ooh. There you go, Beth. Good, Michelle. There you go, Kev. Good, Allegra. There you go, Ann. Catherine, awesome work. Number three, total. And then you got the remaining time to rest. So we're going on round number four here, guys. Round number four, if anybody's keeping track. 40 more air squats. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, and we're going again. Forty air squats. Three, two, one, and forty air squats. Here you go, Jen. Good, Marissa. Missy, solid work. And there you go, Allegra. Awesome. Good, Catherine. Here you go, Michelle. Halfway through the 40 squats, halfway through those 40. Good job, guys. Get off. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. Remember, we got 12 burpees next. 12 burpees now. Three, two, one. All the way down, 12 burpees. Here we go, guys. Solid effort. Good, good, good. There you go, guys. It's a way to work on these 12 burpees. Halfway there. Good job. Remember, we got after this, you need that dumbbell, one of those dumbbells now for that alternating snatch. 16 total, eight per arm. We're doing solid so far. Come on, let's keep it up. 10 seconds. 10 seconds left till we got that alternating snatch. We got eight per arm. Remember, eight of these per arm, 16 total. And there you go, Beth. Good, Michelle. Good, Kev. Missy, awesome. Liz, Catherine, good job. Evie and Marissa, good. Remember, drop those hips down. Don't just use that back. We don't want to have a sore back tomorrow. Remember, drop those hips down underneath us as well. That's going to help us get a little bit better pop up and a jump up. Way there. Good job, guys. We're about halfway through this. Then we got to grab that second dumbbell or heavy kettlebell. We got 20 RDLs. 20 RDLs after coming up in about 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Now we got 10 seconds before we start those RDLs. Remember, drop those hips back, drive the drive those hips forward. We don't want to use that little back for nothing. We we'll use those hips and those hamstrings. Go. Good. 20 of these. 2-0. Here you go, Michelle. Good, Marissa. 
Helene, awesome work. Halfway, halfway there. through these RDLs, got her halfway through the time for the RDLs. We got those skater jumps. Come on, guys. Ten seconds. Ten seconds left. And good. Now we got the skater jumps. 15 aside, 30 total. Halfway there. Halfway, halfway. All right, guys. So for the next thing, let's try to see if we could challenge ourselves. You got a light little dumbbell. Let's try to see if we could challenge these air squats, these 40 Ten air seconds. squats. Maybe use a little dumbbell if we want to challenge ourselves. If not, you could stay with the air squats. Totally okay. But if not, you could totally try to make a little dumbbell. 5, 10, 15 pound little guy. And go. Crank them out. Go, guys. Oh, yeah, there you go, Evie. Good, Kev. Good, Allegra. There you go, Elaine. Good, Beth. Halfway there. Halfway through, guys. Halfway. These are looking solid so far. Good job, good job, good job. Remember, 40 total. 10 seconds. 12 burpees. 12 chest-to-ground burpees coming up next. And all burpees. There you go, Missy. Good job, Missy. Good, Marissa. I can see the hands, Missy. I see the hands just kind of fly in front of the camera, and then I know you're doing them good. Good, Catherine. Good, Liz. Yeah. Halfway there. Good job, guys. Come on, we're about halfway through these 12 burpees, 12 only. Then we're grabbing that dumbbell and we're going with the alternating one arm snatch. Ten seconds. Ten seconds till we get that one arm alternating dumbbell snatch. Two, one, and go. Go, ladies. Good, guys. Good, Kev. Halfway through these snatches. Remember, make sure you use those hips. Otherwise, those arms are going to get tired and those arms are going to feel super heavy and that dumbbell is going to feel like a million pounds. Use those hips. That dumbbell should still feel weightless as we get deeper into these rounds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, guys. Then after this, we got the 20 dumbbell RDLs. Remember, 20 RDLs. Good job, guys. 
You go in. Good, Kev. Good, Evie. Solid work, Elaine. You guys are doing solid. Halfway there. Good, good, good. About halfway through, then we got the 15 skaters per side. 15 skaters per side. Ten seconds. Ten seconds till we do the 15 skaters per side. 30 total. Two, one, and good. Good, Michelle. Good, Liz. Good, and awesome, Allegra, Evie. Beth, there you go, Missy. Good, Jen Rogers. Halfway, halfway, halfway. We are one last round here for this EMOM, one last round for this EMOM, and then we're done. So we're going 40 more squats in a few seconds. We got about 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Two, last set of air squats. And Go, oh, last set of 40 on these air squats. Good job, guys. Good guys. Halfway. There. Halfway. Then remember, we got the twelve burpees ten coming seconds. up next. We got ten seconds, so we got twelve more burpees for the last twelve burpees. Remember, final 12, go. Final 12, chest to ground burpees. Good job, guys. Halfway there. Halfway, 30 seconds left with these 12 burpees. Then we, remember, then you gotta grab that dumbbell after this. Come on, 12 burpees, then you gotta rest. Oh, I'm seeing a little bit of hands on knees. I'm seeing some, we're a little tired. This is a good sign, guys, we're working hard. I like it. Remember, 16, oh, gotta work. 10 out. seconds. Alternating. Dumbbell snatches. Good, we got 16 of these suckers. Eight and eight per side. Let's go, ladies. Oh, we're doing good, good, Kev. Good job, guys. Way there. 30 seconds left, and then we got these RDLs one time, final time doing the dumbbell RDLs. One final time doing these RDLs. Come on, guys, one final time after this. One. 10 seconds. 
hands to go. Good, Marissa. Good, Missy. Good, Beth. Kev looking solid. Remember, 20 total reps here. For these RDLs, 20 total. And then you are done with these. You can put that dumbbell off to the side. Good job, guys. Ten seconds. Halfway there. Okay, but we have about five seconds left. Three, two, one, and we are now going into the skater jump Just side now. to side for the last thing. After this, take some time, grab some water, and I'll explain what we got next. Good job, guys. Remember, 15 per side, 30 total. After this, take some time to rest. I will explain and see if I can write it down. Halfway there. Clear off this. Uh... All right, guys, once you're done, grab some water, and then I'll explain real quick what we got next. Ten seconds. Okay, so. Alrighty guys, so the next set of exercises is going to be 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. The first exercise is going to be in place high knees. We know what those are. Pretty cut and dry. We did those in the warm up. You're going to be able to place as many as we can. Quick hits. Don't take a long time on the ground. You want to just touch that ground and be up. Then the next thing we have is you're just going to get down there and you're just going to hold a squat. Just get down there nice and hold a squat, all right? Then the third thing we have is, let me just double check, I got this right. Yes, so bear with me, I'm gonna show this from a couple angles, but you'll be in the push-up position. All you're gonna do is you're gonna throw that foot under and across. Let me see if I can adjust my, so you'd be here, you throw that foot under and across, then you throw that foot under and across, throw that foot under and across, throw that foot under and across. So if you're facing me, it'll look just like that. All right, so you got those for 20 seconds. Then the last thing we have is hopscotch jump squat. So you'll start in a squat, and then you'll jump up to tall just like this, come back down, squat down, jump up. Feet are coming in every time you jump up. So my feet go out, and then they come in. Feet go out, and then they come in. So we got those four exercises. We're going four rounds, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, let me get the clock. Um. All righty, are we ready? So first one we have is in place high knees, in place high knees for 20 seconds. The clock is gonna start in 10. We got eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, and in place, high knees. Here we go. Drive those knees up as high as we can. Try to get them even with those hips. Try to get them even with the hips. If you got it, you can put those hands right out there in front just to kind of judge how high you're getting them up. Five, four, and good. So the next one, we're going to be doing a squat hold. So all you're going to do is just get down and hold a nice deep squat. All right, two, one, and we're going down a nice deep squat. Good job, guys. Your Hamstrings hands. parallel, everyone's sitting Your in here. Your hands behind Stop the head, arms in front, whatever helps you out better. Try to keep that head up though, because wherever that head goes, you're gonna go. If you let that head come down, you're eventually just gonna start going down with it. And that's it. So remember now we got that cross body. Mountain climber one next. 
two, one, and go. Use that torque to take you underneath. Good three. guy. Halfway. Good, we are done. Good, the next thing we have now is those hopscotch jump squats. So remember, start with the feet wide in the low squat, and then jump up, feet together, and down, and then jump up. Good, Michelle, good, Allegra. Elaine, perfect, Kev, perfect, Evie, awesome. Beth, awesome. There you go, Catherine, good, Jen. Missy, awesome. And Treisman, doing good. And good, it's done. Now we're back to the top. So we have the high knees in place going again. High knees in place right at the top. Remember, it's only 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And you're going. Two. One and done. Remember, now we got that squat hold coming up. Squat hold right here coming up. Two, one, and go. We're getting down there. Hold that deep squat. Go keep that head up. Wherever that goes, we go. Deeper, Elaine. Get down there. Atta girl. Oh, we're halfway, guys. Deeper. Good job, Evie. That's deep. Good job, Kev guys and we are done good now we got those crossbody mountain climbers two one and go Crossing that foot up underneath good evie good kev try to really turn that upper body pretty good you're going to feel a little bit more in the core the more we turn that upper body with it plus the foot will be able to get a little farther underneath us And done. Done, 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 guys. You guys now have those hopscotch jump squats. Remember, start wide with the feet in the squat and then come close with the feet. And go. Halfway. Done. All right, we're starting round number three. Three of four. We're halfway through the fun stuff. And go, 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 ladies. High knees, high knees. Good job, Kev. There you go, Liz. Beth, awesome work. Elaine, good job. Guys, I'm very impressed how high we're getting those knees up. Good job. And Remember, squat hold now, squat hold. Get down there, hold a nice deep squat. One, and there you go, guys, awesome. Good job, good job, good job, good job. Two, one, and go. So now we got those crossbody mountain climbers. And go. Good job, guys. Halfway. Two, one. <laughs> I don't know, maybe my Wi-Fi is slow out here in Wilton, but you guys are moving awfully slow on those mountain climbers. And so now we got those, yep, the hopscotch squats. Good job, guys. One more round, last round of everything. So we're starting off right in place with those high knees, getting those knees up. 
and we're going. Let's go. Good job, guys. Let's get those, drive those knees up. I know it's the last round. We're a little bit tired. Two, one, and you're done. So now we have the squat hold. Coming right up with a squat hold. One, and go. Good job, guys. Good job, good job. Get down there, Liz. Now we got those crossbody mountain climbers. Last time doing these. Move your legs. Let's go. Move them. Cross the legs under. Cross and cross and cross. Good, Jen. Remember, slow, smooth, smooth as fast. As soon as we get that motion down, let's try to pick up that pace a little bit. Good, now we got one last station. You have those jump squats and we are done. Three, two, three. Last thing we got for the day. Well, no, we have one little thing left and then we're done. Evie, those look good. Good job, Michelle. All right, last thing we got, guys. One last thing we got is a 60 second. You can either go hollow hold or low plank. 60 second, either hollow hold or low plank. And then we are done for the day. Get a little bit of light stretching and then we'll be all right. Everybody grab some water. I'll give it a second for us to catch our breaths before we start this. Remember, we can either do a hollow hold or a low plank. Does not matter to me. Either way, we got to do 60 seconds. Troy, what's a hollow hold? Okay. All right, guys. Are we ready? We're going to get going in five, four, three, two, and clock has started. Good job, guys. Good. We hit the halfway point now. Halfway, halfway, halfway. About 10 seconds left, about 10 seconds left, guys. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Good job. All right, let me just move my laptop. If anybody wants to do some last little bit of stretching with me before we go, we can. If not, you guys can sign off. Have a great rest of your day. Somebody get outside and enjoy the sunshine because I see a lot of sun through my window right now. About to go on a pack walk, Troy. You want to come down to Fairfield and join me? I cannot because I am not going on a walk. I thought you were running these days, dude. Yeah, it's a run, not a walk. I don't go that slow. All right, first one, guys, we're going to start off with we're going to go child's pose. All right, this one, make sure we reach forward. As we reach, make sure we take a nice big exhale, blow all that air out, and just sit back into it. Feel those lats open up a little bit. Everybody sit in, nice big exhale, open up those lats a little bit. Good. All righty, good. All right, from here, now you're just going to be on all fours. So we're going to take that right arm. We're going to start with that right arm. Reach that right arm all the way underneath. You want that palm to face up. Reach that right arm. Look in that same direction. Feel that stretch along the middle of that back. 
behind that shoulder blade. You're going to hold that for about three to five seconds, then switch to the other side, same thing. Make sure you're always keeping that one arm straight, driving that hand flat into the ground while you reach the other one across and underneath. You're going to do those three times per side. We're going, Liz. Good. After we've done three and three, we're going to go to the pigeon stretch. So get that foot up underneath. You're going to try to sit back into it, sit into that hip a little bit. Feel that hip open up. If you really want to get into it a little bit deeper, you can go all the way down. Let your chest collapse. Reach with those arms. Hold, hold, hold. And switch sides. Switch. Remember, if you have to keep wiggling that back foot a little bit farther back to let yourself sit in, feel a nice deep stretch. Good, Rishina. Good, all right, perfect. Now the next one, you're gonna be on all fours again. You're gonna take that right foot, you're gonna put it all the way out to the side. You're gonna rock back and you're gonna hold. You wanna keep that foot flat on the ground for now. Hold it for about five seconds, then come forward. Try to see if you can space that foot out, see how my knee is also outside of my hip. You're gonna sit back again. You're gonna do that two times, then you can take that foot, turn the foot up in the air and then sit back again. So you should go from feeling in the groin to then in the back of the leg on the hamstring. All right, so you do two times per side, then switch. Back all the way back. Guys, the last one we got, if we have a couch or a wall or a chair or a table in the vicinity, we can use that. The first one you're going to go, you're just going to kind of back up to it. You're going to go regular hip flexor. You're going to hold that. I'll tell you when to switch. But if you have one, kind of just look to see where it is in the vicinity from that. You just hold on that one leg down, drive the hips forward, feel that stretch kind of a little high up right now. And then we're going to switch. All right, good. So next one, if you got that couch, that chair, that table, you're going to take the top of that foot. You're going to put it right on that couch. All right, and then you're going to be back in that kneeling position. Then you're going to lean back, drive the hips forward, squeeze that glute. That stretch should come a little bit farther down into that quad now. Remember, you could use a chair, a table, couch. Uh, you can grab it with your hand. You can grab it with your hand. I'm just trying to think of a way to kind of alleviate from having to grab it with the hand. And now we're going to switch sides. You gotta just bring that hip just slightly forward. You'll feel that, that stretch. So if I'm sitting back, just come just a slight bit forward. So you feel a nice deep stretch. After that, we are good to go, guys. Have a great Wednesday. Happy hump day. And uh, go enjoy the beautiful day. Thank you, Troy. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Troy. Have a, Have good, a good one, good job.